Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see State Board Class 8 Science Chapter Number 6 Composition of Matter. In this particular chapter already two parts we have finished part 1 and part 2 in which uh, already we studied about uh, the composition of a matter, what the components we have in that then after that we stayed about the different types of the matter like the element compound and the mixtures and the types of compounds type of mixtures everything we studied now today in this particular section we are going to study about the molecular formula and valency if particular only the valency i am talking about then valency we had already said in a previous chapter where after writing the electronic configuration for the particular element or the atom we can talk about the valency of that particular atom. Now the molecular formula. Molecular formula is nothing but when uh, we talk about the compound. As we know very well about the compound. Compound is nothing but chemical com combination of the two or more than two atoms. Two or more than two atoms in a definite proportion example if i want to write down for the water i can write it as a h2o here we have two hydrogen we have two hydrogen atoms hydrogen hydrogen and one oxygen it doesn't matter from where you are taking a sample of water whether it is from the lake, whether it is from the pond, well, river, sea, ocean, creek, tap, doesn't matter from where you are taking the sample of water. But if you are taking a one molecule of a water, in that there will be two hydrogen and one oxygen. It is going to be same in all the sample of water it's not going to change at all and that's why when we talk about the molecular formula we say this that in a definite proportion same way this is just example of the water i have taken same way any compound if you're choosing like glucose if i'm talking about then the formula is affixed for it the carbon hydrogen and oxygen they are in a definite proportion if I'm talking about some other compounds like a sodium chloride, common salt, there also the sodium and chlorine, they are in a definite proportion. So that proportion remains fixed in uh, all molecule of the compound. So today we are going to talk about the molecular formula, how that molecular formula we are writing. So here are some of the compounds name they have given. If I want to just enlarge it to, so as we can discuss it clearly. Here, the first they have given as a water formula is a H2O. Here, components, constituent elements are the hydrogen and oxygen. Number of atoms, constituent elements. Here, two hydrogen and one oxygen. Let's write the uh, other one. Hydrogen chloride formula is a HCl. So here components are H and Cl. And if I want to write down the number of atoms, so both are without numbers, so both are 1. Let's write for the uh, methane now. If I'm talking about methane, in that we have a carbon, we have a hydrogen. 1 carbon and 4 hydrogen because H4 is written. You can see here H4 is written and that's why the 4 hydrogens. Let's write for the uh, last one, the fourth one. If I, I want to write down for this fourth one, magnesium chloride. Here components are or the constituent elements are magnesium and chlorine. 1 magnesium and 2 chlorine. Why chlorine is 2? Because Cl2 is written. So this is a way of writing the constituent elements and their number of atoms. Suppose if instead of this I am uh, taking some more examples. 
suppose if i am having a sodium chloride name for this you can write as a sodium chloride if i want to write down over here so it will be much clear to visualize suppose here if instead of uh, nh this if i am taking nacl sodium chloride so here component or the constituent elements are sodium chlorine and both are one because if number is not written along with the atoms then it's called as the one atoms are present now let's go ahead further here are some more things they have given so we can write uh, we can complete this table as well now here molecular formula of compounds they have given molecular formula for the compounds they have given and uh, we have to write down the constituent elements and then the valencies we have to discuss now here when we talk about the constituent for this h2s the first two are already completed so we will discuss with this only h and another element is a sulfur that is s valency of hydrogen is one so what will be a valency of the number of bonds formed by x with h how many bonds are linked you can see here one sulfur is linking with the two hydrogen so bonds will be two in this case and the valency of x will be two because it's making a two bonds let's write the uh, next one here one constituent is h another is n now here one nitrogen n stands for the nitrogen so it's getting linked with the three hydrogens so how many bonds it's making three bonds it's making so valency will be three for it next they have given as a hbr so here h as it is and here b r that is bromine hydrogen bromide it's getting linked with the one so it will be one and valency will be one same way the other part of the chap uh, this table you can complete up like hydrogen iodide so here h i and then it's making one bond so valency as one same way the last one uh, if i'm talking about the ch4 then here hydrogen here carbon it's making four bonds so valency will be four so this is about this particular table let's go ahead cross multiplication method cross multiplication method for writing the molecular formula of simple compounds simple compounds and to write their molecular formula it's very simple if you know the valency of the element if you know the valency of the atom you can write down the formula by them so here let's take a first step is to write the symbols like here they have written as a carbon and oxygen their valencies we have to write now valencies are four and two carbon's valency is four and oxygen's valency is two let's go ahead further what they have given is a cross multiplication when we do the cross multiplication is c2 o4 so c2 o4 so what we can do 2 and 4 they are the numbers which comes in the same table of 2 so we can cancel out that numbers and we can reduce it and write it as a co2 means the numbers we can divide it by 2 if it is divisible we can reduce the numbers if it is not divisible then don't go for it okay it will be much clear when we'll go towards the further questions now further if i want to take it over here let's take uh, ch c and h i'm just writing here to write down the name of a compound c and h valency for the carbon is four valency for the hydrogen is one so on a cross multiplication what i will be getting c h four i'm not writing one because one is not required to be written so this formula will become ch4 okay if you want to then you can note it down in your textbook right now 
then uh, the next word we have to discuss is a uh, NH so let's discuss this one N and H valency for the N is 3 and H is 1 so let's write it N and H N is 3 H is 1 drew the cross multiplications it will become N H 3 let's write the next one for this let's write this one fe and s 2 and 2 they have given so valency for fe and sulfur both are 2 now the cross multiplication if i want to do it i will be getting fe 2 s 2 now here if you will see if you will see this 2 and this 2 i can cancel out I can cancel out them because they are divisible by the same number too and the formula what I will be getting will be FES iron sulfide let's write the next one that is a C and O I think this already we have discussed but let's take it once again if this I want to write down carbon oxygen for this valency is 4 for this valency is 2 cross multiplication so i'll be getting c2o4 c2o4 again i can uh, deduce it two twos are four and two ones are two like that we can cancel two ones are two and two twos are four i can cancel out and the formula finally what i'll be getting will be co2 so this is about writing the uh, molecular formula from known valencies of the atoms now here are some more questions they have given reduce the molecular formula of the compounds formed from the following pair of elements valencies they have given valency one valency for nitrogen is three valency of iron is two so you can write it down this if this you can note it down one three and two valencies of the hydrogen nitrogen and iron and then you can uh, note it down or you can write down the formulas by self you can write that formulas and you can post it as a comment in the YouTube uh, video okay so as I can check it out uh, how many of you have really tried it so this is about how to write the uh, formulas and this finishes our chapter, Composition of uh, Matter.